Okay, one more, we want to find the equation for ellipse. Here's the given information. We have a foci and we have a vertex that's given. We're not given the center, but let's go ahead and plot the information because we might be able to tell the center based on the picture. So you should always begin by plotting uh, the information. So negative 4, 2, negative 4, 2 would be right here. Next I have the foci at 1, 2, 1, 2 would be here, and negative 3, 2 would be here. All right, now your center is going to have to be exactly halfway between the two vertices or exactly halfway between the two foci. Now because they give us the two foci, we can find the halfway point. The halfway point, the center, is going to be right here. So I'll indicate the center with an arrow. That originally was not given to us. We found that only because it's exactly halfway. What I did was I made it distance of two away from, to this point, distance of two away to this point. So I have that one there I found because it's exactly halfway between. Now from this piece of information, what I know is that the distance from here to the foci, that's my C value, my C value is going to equal 2. From here to here, from the center with the arrow to the end, that's 3. So now my A value is equal to 3. My center, center is going to be negative 1, 2. So I found that piece of information. I want to, the base formula is going to be a, uh, an ellipse that opens up sideways. Again, we know it's going to be sideways because everything is going along horizontally there. And it has to go through this particular center. So the basic, base formula I have uh, is this one. I want an ellipse that's centered at HK that opens up sideways, which means the A value has to go underneath the X if it opens up sideways. So this is my base formula I'm starting with here. And so I have, I have HK, this is my H, this is my K, so I can plug that in. I have my A right away, so I know what A squared is. A squared would be 9. The last thing I need to find is B. So once again, as we've been doing before in these examples, you're going to do the same process, the same technique here, using this formula for C. We're going to put in C values 2, and I have A squared minus B squared. That's 3 squared minus B squared. I want to solve this one for B squared. Square both sides, 4 is equal to, I can uh, get rid of the radical, and 3 squared is now 9. I have that. Subtract the 9 from both sides, we get negative 5 equals negative b squared, or 5 is now equal to the b squared. So now that we have this, we're ready now to go ahead and put in the two numbers. a squared is going to be 3 squared is 9. b squared automatically, I know that's going to be 5 because I solved for it here. h, I can put in, h is negative, h minus a negative 1, which means this will turn into a plus 1 minus a negative one plus one and then I have a two that's going to go inside this one so here this is going to be the answer to that problem now uh, we have it again centered at centered at negative one two properly there we solve for the a squared and the b squared so our problem is complete